So as you subtitle more and more, um, how do you take good care of your body, of your health, uh, so that you can um, subtitle in a sustainable way? And the, I think the first tip we would like to give, the first recommendation is if you are working on a laptop, many beginners in subtitling, many subtitles start working on a laptop. And one of these things is to get an external keyboard. Uh, this will help you... Uh, like a full-size keyboard, right? That's the, the Yes, that this, this can be very helpful in a number of ways. So first of all, uh, many keyboard shortcuts use this numeric keypad. So there is an area in the keyboard with some extra keys, and sometimes there are keyboard shortcuts, especially related to timing, which use this area. So if you have a small laptop, you might not have a numeric keypad included in your laptop. Having an external keyboard or an external keypad like this will be helpful. It's much Again, more convenient to use it for timing, right? Sure. Usually the external keyboards will be better, and uh, might be of better quality than the keyboard included in your laptop. So it will be just nicer to touch on it, to, to type on it. And you can get an ergonomic uh, keyboard, and usually ergonomic key keyboards will have uh, an area for you to have some rests for your wrists, and they will um, have a different dis distribution of the keys, so the distance between different keys and the size of the keys will be different to yeah, match your really anatomical the shape of your fingers, of your hand, and so on. So this will make typing less tiring. Another important thing is that typing a lot on your keyboard means that you are putting your wrist on a flat space, uh, the space of your laptop. And uh, if you type a lot on your laptop and you start getting uh, feeling pain in your wrists, this is a warning signal. And um, this can develop into some serious health issues, such as uh, the carpal tunnel. The carpal tunnel. Yeah, I don't know all those fancy words. <laughs> yes, but that's <laughs> that's true. It's basically <laughs> a pain in your wrist. It's like, and one of the greatest things, the the greatest gadget I have is where is it? Uh, right here is uh, this vertical mouse that I uh, got. So uh, it looks quite uh, complicated and sort of. Uh, difficult to use, but it's very natural. So the way so it works, again, you just put your hand like this. Yeah, yeah sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I wanted to explain it. Yes. So, uh, starting from the basic idea, if you are typing a lot or using a lot of the, on the laptop or using a lot of the touchpad, this means that your hands will be like, uh, you will hold it, sorry, you will That's hold okay. them flat. <laughs> I can use my mouse. <laughs> you will hold them flat on the surface. And this will be very uncomfortable anatomically for your hands. So one way of uh, avoiding that, uh, avoiding feeling pain or feeling very, having very tired wrists after lots of typing is having an ergonomic mouse. This is, there are many different types of ergonomic mice. This is one example. Uh, it looks a little bit strange. And the idea is that instead of having uh, your hand lying flat where there is a pressure on your wrist from the surface, you're actually holding the mouse sort of vertically, so there's yeah, no pressure twisting. on your wrist, like the, the, your your arm and your hand is vertical to to the to the table to the surface. So this can be uh, a great idea to have an ergonomic uh, mouse. And let me just say that a lot of uh, mice that I've uh, seen are huge, are produced for. <laughs> much bigger hands than uh, I have. So this is like a small size uh, mm -hmm. mouse, although it's quite big when you look at it, right? So make sure you also get the right size of the mouse for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another thing is getting an ergonomic uh, keyboard that will have some area, some cushion for you to rest your wrists when you're not typing, and then uh, a better distribution of keys that will uh, make it less tiring to type and that will prevent pain on the long run. Uh, using ergonomic keyboards will also make you type faster, but first of all, will protect your health. Uh, if you are feeling any sort of pain in your wrists, in your hands, in your arms, that means there's something wrong with your position and try to change it as fast as possible before you develop any serious health issues. The worst thing that can happen is if you type a lot, especially on laptops in uncomfortable positions, you can develop the so-called carpal tunnel that can uh, disrupt your career and ultimately might require a surgery. 
so you don't want to do that, try to invest in having an ergonomic uh, keyboard or an ergonomic mouse.